Hello everyone, welcome to the Artificial Intelligence series. In this series, we will discuss about the introduction, what is intelligence, Turing test, challenges and various real-time applications. So let's start with the first slide. Now, what is artificial intelligence? So basically, it is a system that thinks like human, that acts like human, or we can say a system that acts or think rationally means logically a system which is correct or we can say that in a sensible manner artificial intelligence basically is a combination of two keywords first is your artificial intelligence that is man-made second is your intelligence means power of thinking now before start with the artificial intelligence let's discuss about the various goals of AI so there are three main important goals of AI. First is your replication of human intelligence. Second is your problem solving that require knowledge. Third one is building a machine that, that can do intelligent tasks. For example, chess, theorem proving, automated cars and drivings and many more. Now the term Artificial intelligence was first found by John McCarthy in the year 1956 or we can say that it is the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs or in other words, we can say that it is a study of how to make computers to do things which people do better means it is a combination of machine plus human intelligence. Now, what is intelligence? Oh, according to the father of AI, John McCarthy, it is a science of engineering, of making intelligent machines, especially intelligent computer programs, right? So, AI is accomplished by studying how human brain thinks and how human learns, decides, work while trying to solve a problem and then using the outcomes of this study as a basis of the de development of intelligent software systems now what contributes to ai ai is a science of technologies that based on various disciplines such as your computer science your biology psychology your mathematics and engineering so it is a collection of hard problems which can be solved by humans and other living things but which do not have any good algorithm to solve the particular problems now, the next slide is about the Turing test. So, in 1950, Alan Turing introduced a test to check whether a machine can think like a human or not. So, this test is known as your Turing test. In this test, if a human agent is engaged in a two isolated dialogues let's say it is connected by a telepathy so one with a computer and the another one with the human being and there is a one human agent that cannot reliably identify which dialogue box is with the computer So, Turing test was introduced by the Turing in 1950 paper. So, Computing Machineries and Intelligence, which considered the question, can machine things? So, it is basically for the better understanding of her brain capacity, computer capacity, data privacy and security. In most of the AI applications, basically they rely on huge volumes of data to learn and make intelligent decisions. So, Turing test is basically based on a party game we can say imitation game with some modifications this game involves three prayers in which one player is computer and another player is your human responded as we have discussed in the previous slide now we will discuss about the various application areas of artificial intelligence so in today's world there are various real-time applications of artificial intelligence whether it is about the computer vision, your robotics, communications, programming, gaming, music, technologies or medical science. Now let's discuss one by one. So let's say about the gaming for example chess, 
tic tac machine can think large number of moves in natural language processing machine can understand the human language in case of your medical science for example the diagnosis could be a uh, very fast robotic surgeries are there in case of your finance ai is doing a good job automatic chat box algorithms are there export systems means integration of a software machine and special information to provide reasoning and advice computer vision one of the major application area of ai where it understands the visual automatically by machine robotics talk and behave like humans for example sofia and erica ai in e-commerce also automatic recommendation of products services request and many more so let's discuss one by one so first is artificial intelligence in movies so we are currently having so many ai based applications in our daily life with exam with some entertainment services such as your netflix amazons with the help of machine learning and ai algorithms these services shows the recommendation for program or shows and in case of film makings also it is used to create things such as your better scripts to generate visuals and even to add the special effects to the films it is also being used to improve the marketing campaigns and to track the particular audience engagement with the films also for example terminator interstellar robots are few of the movies that are based on your artificial intelligence now next is your artificial intelligence in real life so basically it is a young science it is approximately 50 years old only that have impressive success stories intelligence in specialized domain or we can say particular areas there are so many applications as we have discussed earlier also in case of your industry gaming medical domain your detection of face your expert system in case of object detection and tracking whether it is bus car your human being your formal verification robotics that are used in your healthcare systems visual surveillance to preserve the wildlife animals so one of the major application is your self driving cars so what is a self driving car so basically sometimes it is called as an autonomous car or we can say a driverless car so a vehicle that uses a combination of sensors cameras radar and ai to travel between destination without a human operator so the concept of self driving cars are becoming increasingly day by day reality with each passing moment for example there is an example of google self driving car project that is an ongoing project so ai plays a very crucial role in the development and operations of self driving cars ai basically enables the self driving cars to sense perceive and navigate their environment as well as make time decisions based on data gathered from their sensors now next is your object detection and tracking as we can see from the figure there are three columns in a first column there are some images captured from the outdoor and indoor sequence in the column two there is the ground truth images means the actual result and third one is the result obtained from a particular algorithm so ob in object detection and tracking we are basically detecting the moving object or we are detecting the human beings in case of your indoor sequences and outdoor sequences so object detection is the process of detecting a targeted or a particular object in a particular image or a single frame of the video and the tracking here refers to the ability to estimate 
or to predict the position of a targeted object in each consecutive frames in a video once the initial position of the target is defined or we can say that basically object detection helps to understand and analyze the scenes in an image or video now next is your robotics one of the major application area so basically robotics are used to performing the simple and repetitive task it could free workers from their hazardous jobs have limited mobility all the operations are compute are computer programmed controlled that includes commands such as your programming languages for controlling for example variable assembly language so artificial intelligence has a remarkable role in robotics usually generally robots are programmed such that they can perform repetitive task but with the help of ai we can create intelligent robots which can perform task with their own experiences with pre program for example humanoid robots are best examples for ai in robotics recently the intelligent humanoid robot named erica and sofia have been developed which can talk and be behave like humans now the next is your expert system so basically there are so many benefits of your expert system it improves the decision making quality it is cost effective as it trims down the expenses of consulting human experts when solving a problem it provides a fast robust solution to complex problem in a specific domain and the another benefit of expert system is it gathers knowledge and uses it efficiently so expert system basically mimics human expertise in a field to solve a particular problem in a well defined manner here the mimic means action or a word or in a simple word we can say to copy the way someone speaks and moves so it is used for various activities that human experts have already handled successfully for example in case of your medicine geology education oil exploration and many more and the best examples of expert system is dendril and mycin so uh, an expert system generally consists of four components as you can check in the figure first one is your knowledge base the search or inf inference system is the second one and the third is your a knowledge acquisition system and the user interface or communication system so knowledge system solves difficult problems of the real world by performing inference processes on explicitly stated knowledge now next one is your visual surveillance so ai can be trained using the supervised exercises for example security algorithms to take the input from the security cameras or we can say cctv cameras so they can identify the potential threats and warn the human security officers to investigate the further procedure also so surveillance cameras and facial recognition are used to monitor public and private spaces and to identify people as is becoming both more pervasive and more invasive so in today's world surveillance cameras and facial recognition are used to monitor public places and private spaces and to identify people now what are the examples of visual surveillance for example binoculars telescopes cameras with telephoto lenses video recorders and cctvs are some of the examples of visual surveillance now the next one is your preserving the wildlife so wildlife preservation is a very difficult task whether when it comes to the analyze the population size of animals or in order to track the animals in wildlife zone so scientist simply cannot possibly track each and every animal and tag them all with the gps devices so 
a team in a Chicago have successfully implemented 